Hello everyone and welcome to this session where we will learn about an important concept in TypeScript and that is how you can take user inputs with the help of TypeScript. So let's get started. Whenever you want to write a code in TypeScript that needs to perform a task taking user inputs within itself. So for that, you need to first of all run this command npm install prompt-sync. As soon as you do that, after creating a .ts file, you will see that it will download a folder with the name as node modules and whatever the necessary modules are required to take a user input that would be installed and downloaded into the current folder of that particular .ts extension file. Now, once you have done that, the next thing you have to do is you have to write down import aesthetic as prompt sync from the prompt sync level. Now, what this does is that this line of code imports the prompt sync module and assign it to a variable prompt sync, as you can see over here. Once you have done that, the next thing you need to do is you need to create a constant variable with the name as prompt. And then we will write down that this is equals to prompt sync. Now this will create a new instance of prompt sync and that can be called with the help of the prompt variable whenever you want. Now basically what this means is whenever you want to take a user input in your code, you will just call the variable with the name prompt. And what that will do is it will actually be calling the prompt sync function itself to take the user input on the terminal or the console that you are running in. All right. Now let's see an example of how we can do that. So what I will do here is I will just create a variable with the name name. And then I am saying that you need to prompt. Now what this means, as I told you, that prompt will be used to take user input, right? And what do we want to prompt onto the screen? So we want to take the name of the user. What is your name? All right. So with this, you will see that whenever we will run this command, it will try to take the name and what it will do is it will store that name in the variable name over here itself. Okay. And then once you have taken the name of the user, you can console.log and then you can print like the way we did previously. Hello. And then you can type down the name. Okay, and then you can say any message that you want to display. Welcome to code in peace. All right, so let me just take you through the code again. So what we have done is we have imported all of the modules from the prompt sync library and we will be calling it with the help of the name that we have provided in the third line, which is prompt. And what this prompt will do is it will call the instances of the prompt sync function. And in the next line, in line number five, what it will do is whenever you call the prompt function, it will give a display to the user, whatever you want to prompt them. Let's say we will be saying over here, what is your name? So when the user will input his or her name, that particular name will be stored in the variable with the name as name itself. And then in the next line, in line number seven, what we are doing is we are just printing that message, whatever custom message you want to print. Let's say hello. And then the name of the person and then saying them a welcome message, welcome to code in peace. Now let's just transpile this code and run it. So what I will do, TSC and then the name of the file. So we have built that and then node user input.js. And now you see it asked you for the name. So let's name it as Alice. And you see over here it prints, hello Alice, welcome to code in peace. So you see how easy it is to take the user input. Now. One important thing to understand over here is whenever you take a user input with the help of the prompt or any other method, the input data type is always a string. Now, why I am saying this to you? Now, the reason behind that is whenever you want to perform something that is related to the numbers data type, you cannot directly take the values from the user and print it or perform any calculations. Now, let's take an example of that one as well. So what I will do here is I will just comment out this code. And then let's take an example of taking a user input as numbers and adding them and displaying it on the console. So let me do it really quickly for you. So again, what I will do is prompt is equals to prompt sync. So we are creating an instance of the prompt sync function. Now I will take the first number as num1 string. Okay. 
So this is the first variable and what I will prompt, I will prompt the user to enter the first number. So what we can say is enter the first number. All right. And then we also need a second number as well. So what we will do is cost num2 a string. Okay. And then this will prompt the user to enter the second number. All right. Now I will take a variable sum and what I will do is I will just add number one and number two. Just to let you know what I mean by the statement that I just told earlier. All right. So we will do a console.log and then we will just use the string interpolation to print the sum of number one that was our first variable and our second variable that was num2 and is and then again the sum variable that goes something like this okay now just have a look over here when I try to run it so it is asking me for the first number let's say I enter as 3 and the second number I will enter as 6 now once I hit the enter the answer should be 9 right but you will see that the answer that I will get is 36 so you see we get the answer is 36. Now, why is that so? That is because when you enter the two numbers, you haven't converted the data type of those numbers. As I told you, whenever you enter anything from the console, the input is considered as a string data type. Now, what you need to do is, after you are taking the two inputs, num1 string and num2 string, you need to convert it into an integer data type or a number data type, and then you can directly add those numbers and then print that output. So let's see how we can do that. I will just clear the output and then what I will do here is I will take another variable const num1 and now that num1 will be converted into an integer value with the help of a function that is used in TypeScript. So that is parse int. What that means is whatever the variable we are parsing in there, let's say num1 string, this function parse int is going to convert it into an integer, all right? And then that means that if you are entering 2 or 3 or whatever value, that string will be converted into an integer value. All right. And then the same way what we will do is constant num2 is equals to parse int. And then over here, instead of adding the string variables, I will use num1. And here I will be using num2. All right. And then here also, I will use num1 variable and num2 variable over here. Just save it and run it over here. Now I will enter my first value as 3, second value as 6. So the answer should be 9 and you can see over here that we get the correct sum for the two entered values and that is 9, right? So if you are facing any issues, just write it down in the comment section so that we can help you out and resolve your issues. So with this, I hope you've got an understanding of how you can take user input in TypeScript and manipulate it to either perform a string function or a number function.